The SR range from Star GB is the most popular model within their portfolio. Today, we're going to find out what the difference is between the SR20J and the brand new SR20J Type 2. We're going to find out from Josh at Prototype Productions. Josh, the SR is the most popular of the Star GB sliding head lathes. You've got two of the machines here um, that we're speaking about. You've got the the SR20J2 and the J. I want to know the differences and we want to start with the tool configuration. What's better with the J2? Okay, so starting with the obvious obvious differences, we've got your yeah, eight tools on the on head two, on the type two star. Uh, that gives us a lot more options, especially milling. So how many did you have on the other on the other machine on the uh, on the straight SR20J? So on the 20J we have four tools, which tends to mean we have to polar mill if we were to mill shapes and different different like hexagons or So squares. essentially you've got double the amount of tools now on the back working spindle with there being eight tools, yeah? Yeah, that's right. So we can put in more tools now. If tools break, we can just change a little bit in the program and then carry on running. And you've also got a Y axis as well on the J2 compared to the J. Uh, how does that impact you and what does that allow you to do which you couldn't do before as well? Yeah, so the y-axis gives us a lot more movement on the back, so we're able to mill different shapes, hexagons for example, like polar mill. And, and does it mean that you may have done operations previously on the front spindle with this machine that you can now do on the back as well? Does it help you balance out a, a part, essentially? Yeah, it does. So it, it saves the cycle times because we can balance up the head one and the head two better, so the head two is not waiting for head one to finish before it picks up. And, and what about the actual overall, I mean, it's faster as well, isn't it? You've got faster spindles on this, you've got a more powerful spindle. Have you seen the benefit to that in what you're cutting here? Because often you, you're not just doing brass components here, you're cutting stainlesses, mild steels as well, haven't you? Has that been an advantage to you, that speed? Yeah, so the speeds, speeds and feeds, obviously we can run a lot harder now. Because of the, because of the weight of the machine, it's heavier. Uh, we can push it, push it harder. Well, I noticed that this has actually got dovetail slideways on the X, Y and the Z, which means it's, it's, it's far more rigid than the, the, the predecessor, isn't it? So have you experienced benefits in that area when you're machining? Yeah, definitely. So cycle times have been reduced because we can run it harder, we can run it faster. Uh, we've got the use of HFT as well, which is helping to chip our, chip our components. And so have you got an example of a part where you may have been machining it before on the uh, on the SR20J and you know, you're now doing it on the J2 and there's an improved cycle time. Yeah, there's there's a few actually, there's a few. Um, so when I swap the programs from the 20J to the 20J Type 2 on a one minute cycle time for for instance, uh, I'm getting like at least 10 to 15 seconds quicker on the new SAR. So the differences between the two, it's, it's not just a number as we see here, is it Josh? Yeah, so it's a major difference. We're getting a lot more parts done quicker, faster and obviously out the door to our customers.